Hi everyone and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as a bivvy bag in the middle of a heat wave. I just stumbled across this little spot and uh, with a bit of cleaning up this looks like it could be ideal and you can see it's just thick sort of brambly wood a bit of holly there no real way in a bit of trampled grass but no it's the right one about Obviously it's uh, been found before because of the, the litter that's about But that looks like it could be an ideal little spot So uh, let's start getting set up Right then, that is the setup. So, as I said earlier, you've got the Climate Static V uh, uninsulated mat, got the Special Forces bivy bag from Snug Pack, center zip looking all the way down. Now, this is what I mentioned earlier on just put a little carabiner just between the zip of the sleeping bag and then the zip of the bivy bag. And it just keeps them up nice and neat. So, then as you can see, I could just roll it straight out and it's already done for me. So, it's just a bit of prep work at home and then just the snug pack sort of compact inflated pillow we have the SF1 the SF baby bag climbing static V before I get going on everything just going to make sure that everything's all squared away get this anchored down don't want any friends in there when we do it. Oh, he's playing that dangerous game, look. <laughs> he's laid down on it, he's laid down. Well, it's comfy enough, but I think this is probably how I'm going to sleep tonight because it's still extremely warm. Uh, as you can see, I've put a bug net over it just to sort of help keep friends out for now. But uh, I need a brew, to be honest. I need a brew. Let's go make a brew. Just remembered I said I'd bring you back for this bit, didn't I? 
Here we go, little <laughs> spice set built into me uh, my bag. Knife, fork and spoon, lighter, oil, bit of garlic and ginger paste. Guess what I'm cooking people. <laughs> right, so just out of here, I'm just going to grab the Trangia, uh, a lighter, a coffee. Probably the lawnmower stand, uh, just to sort of hang my pot over it, rather than uh, on top of it. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I've had my brew. Time's kicking on a bit now, so I think I might start cooking in a second. So I brought with me like a little titanium folding stove, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go and get a bit of wood for it. So, that's what I'm going to go do now. Right, this is the uh, stove. So we've got gas base, four side panels. And that's the uh, brand there, Rover Camo. Little titanium stuff, so I'm just going to throw it together and then I'll uh, use it. There we go. Took me uh, seconds, probably about 30 40 seconds, if that. Yeah, just nice and simple twig stove and then like a uh, bit of breathing holes on top there for uh, resting a pan. So there's no pot stands necessary. But yeah, let's see. Uh, We'll get some wood. Right, well, we looked a bit all set up there. Got a little pile of twigs just inside of me as well. And you see there. And then uh, time to start cooking, I think. So tonight, I'm going to be doing a curry. We've done all the prep work at home, but in there we've got some onions, a capsicum, and a lot of green chilies, as you can see there. And then we've got some seasoned chicken mince just there and then I've got some of these uh, what are called seeded flatbreads as well just to accompany it got some rice should I think it needs it but we'll see how it goes so to get this going I'm just going to use one of my uh, homemade fire lighters very similar to uh, an inferno disc or something I think they're called so it's just basically a waxed makeup pad and all you do, just fluff it up a little bit. Pop it in. Find your lighter. Just found the badger. <laughs> and just stick a light to it. He says. And I'll fluff that up enough, have I? Try again. And you stick a light to it. That's got it. Right, and then just sit back, wait for that to kick in, do a bit of prep work. Just train tripods because it's got a bigger reach. Still only quite a small stealthy tripod though, so it's all sort of handheld filming tonight. Right. I'm not going to muck about for now. I'm just mixing up the veggies a little bit, getting them all out of 
the way I've got the wheel. And that wheel is nice and hot. Not quite. We'll get to cooking. Get that oil nice and hot now in there. So although we're uh, stealth camping, we still make time to cook. So we'll put some cloves in. Cardamom seeds. Green cardamom seeds. And some fennel and cumin seeds. Add a little bit more oil because that looks to be getting a bit dry. Then we're on a bit of a slope, aren't we? Let's just douse it. 100ml of oil. <laughs> After the seeds, we'll go for the pre mixed garlic and ginger paste that I've made it on. Just for one person, I Let them start to get sizzling. As you've probably seen there, I've got my spatula again. <laughs> and I got a bit of a telling off using a metal spoon on my uh, last video on my new pan. So yeah, I've uh, not done that, I've used a stick. It's dry enough, so <clears throat> why not?
Well, tea's almost done. I think I've picked a really good spot here. Literally, I can hear uh, cars and things in the distance, but I'm not seeing another soul. I haven't seen much wildlife. Midges are at a minimum. Obviously, I've got a little uh, twig burning stove going at the moment as well, so that's helping with midges and things. Um, but at the moment, nice, chilled, stealthy camp. Brilliant. So, tea's almost done. It's just sort of bubbling away, getting them last few bits, making sure that that chicken's thoroughly cooked. <laughs> yes, that was chicken, chicken mince. <laughs> Uh, you saw me forget the spatula, so I've been using a stick. Yeah, I always forget some of it. Try to come out a little bit more lightweight than I normally would as well. Um, and obviously try to get away from, not get away from the hammock, but, you know, stop just doing hammock camping. I do do other types of camping, I do it all uh, scout camps and things like that, but it's not something that I always bring to the channel in bivvy bagging. Done it, I have done it, so you've seen me in the stratosphere, this class is a bivy bag. Uh, I've been out in just bivy bag not too long ago actually, with uh, Dan, wasn't it? And the fox come that night. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's out tonight somewhere with the other Dan. Um, let's say we had planned to go up to Gaddings Dam, but with it being so warm and open up there, it's not worth it, especially seeing as one of them is bald and one of them is ginger. <laughs> yeah. No offence there at all. Right, stoke this fire up one more time and then that should be uh, enough for tea. Right, well, I think I overdid it a little bit with the curry. Uh, not spice or anything, just too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decant it into my uh, cup and then I can start to get cleaned up and sort this little area out because I've made a right mess. Right, I'll see you in a minute. I meant to say this on uh, last week's video look after your gear and your gear will look after you but I put it on time lapse and not realised so that's all I'm doing now I'm just sort of keeping up so I'm maintaining the gear just simple wet wipes And you saw that pan a minute ago when I cooked it. I won't do the inside at the minute though. And the bottom, if you remember last week, it was all nice and shiny. I don't think I'm going to get it back to that, but try and get rid of some of this soot. No, I think I'm fighting a losing battle. But you can tell it's clean now anyway. I reckon the sand is clean now. Right, get finished off. See you in a bit. Just braid me noggin, can you see this? Somewhere there. Cleaning up. Bent over bivy bag, crack made on a branch. Nice one. <laughs> Little bit of blood, I think you can see. Here, look on my hand where I've had it and cleaned myself up, but never mind. These things happen, don't they? Right, I'm uh, just going to chill for a bit now. Not much else to do, so. Brought a few drinks for me. Comfort, cheap Stella. <laughs> Right, see you soon. Right, well, I've just been laid here.
couple of hours, not doing a great deal, just chilling. And I think now it's time for bed. But I'm just checking my phone, it's like still 16 degrees and it's like quarter to 12 at night. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just probably just going to get under the net. Um, over the bivvy and then just chill and go to sleep like that. I'm not going to get in the sleeping bag, just boots off, on top, game over. Right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. That was a, a nice wake up call, wasn't it? Half past four in the morning. Thanks for that. Oh. So I've slept on and off. So there's a lot of time I have to sleep. <laughs> yeah, tossing and turning, really. But two o'clock this morning I got into the sleeping bag that I bought um, I've just been in shorts and I just dropped gold so it was quite awkward to get into it with this net over and that's done its job though can't feel any bites or anything It's like almost time to get up. Another half hour, I think, and then I'll get up. I'll see you soon. Well, this wasn't broadcast, was it? Rain. Can you hear it? <sighs> Let's the beer back up now. So I just checked the weather. I'll flash it up. Apparently we've got a bit of rain now. We've got 71% coverage until 6. Quarter to 5. Do we just ride it out for an hour in this bivvy? Where I am, it's quite protected. Overhang. So I think I might be all right, but you never know, do you? If it gets much worse, I might have to get up and move. Luckily, it's baby bag, so I stop, drop, and roll. Scoop it up, run away. Oh, I've cut the net down. As you can see, I'm gonna say cut the net down because it started raining. I'll drag it out in a bit of a flap to cover things up. My phone, for example, and uh, just took my little pen knife out of my pocket, whipped the line down, and dropped it. Mm. 
never mind uh. right well I'll let you know how I'll get on So it's 20 past 5, that's me done for another video, got to get out of here before signs of life start to appear. Um, but you've enjoyed the video, the rain didn't come too badly to be honest, uh, I probably could have just stayed and waited it out. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle. See you guys in the next one. For now, I'm out of here.